this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple cash book in Excel. With this system, I'm going to show you how to design today. You can use it to record your debit and credit transactions for your business. As well, you can use it to record your income and expenditure, whichever way you want to use it. To get started, let me show you how the simple cash book works. So right here at the left hand side, we have the debit or the inward. And at the right side, we have the credit or outward columns. Under each one of them, that is the debit or inward, we have the details as well as amounts. Similarly, under credit or outward, we have date, details, and amounts. And on top right here, you see that we have cash on hand. This particular cell will record the total amount of cash we have in our business at a particular point in time. So let's assume there was a balance carry forward from the previous month. So my previous balance was 40,000. I hit enter. The moment I hit enter, the total will be here and we have the same thing under cash on hand so that was on the first day of march the next recording i had was on the 3rd of march which was internet services and the amount was 400 ghana cities take note the moment i hit enter the total will come here and it will be deducted from the cash on hand to tell us that we have spent 400 ghana cities or whichever currency you will be using from this total cash on hand now i hit enter you see we have a total of 400 and from here instead of the 40,000, we now have 39,600. awesome the next recording i have is 5th march in here let's assume i have 1000 the total is here and it will be added to the cash on hand on the 6th of march utility bill was 200 ghana cities i enter it the total will be calculated for the entire credit and it will be deducted from the cash on hand finally on the 10th day of march there was an amount received from a buyer which was 600 ghana cities i enter it hit enter the total will be calculated and we have it under the cash on hand isn't this cool so if you like what you have seen and want to design something like this for your business, keep watching. Having opened Excel, I'm going to use six columns for this project. So first of all, I'm going to enter the name of the company I'm going to design this template for. Deco Pages Web. I'm doing it for a web agency. Hit enter. Next, I enter the name of the template I'm designing. Hit enter. Next, I enter debit. Maybe you can say forward slash inward. So this is going to record all what is coming into the business. Then I come over to D3 because I'm going to make the whole of these three cells here. So I say credit slash outward. Perfect. Remember I said I'll be using six columns. So the C column will fall under F. In here I want to enter cash on hand and right here i'll have the total cash i have at hand in order to make my work clear let me start merging the cells i start from here up to e i just highlight it then i go ahead and click on merge and center i do the same thing here up to e merge and center from here to c merge and center and then here to f merge and center under debit or inward, the first thing I have is date, followed by particulars, or you can say details. I'll use details. And finally, amount. I want the same thing here, so I can easily go ahead and copy this. Copy. And I paste. From here, I can just press enter to deactivate the copy. Cash on hand, you see that it does not fit very well. I want to make it fit very well. So I'll just point in between the column F and G to get this sign. I just go ahead and double click and it will fit very well. And I'm going to use the width here to control the entire column. And I'll do the same thing for the amount since we have amount under F column. So if I select any cell in here, then I go over to format under cells group, column width. I have 14.14. I cancel it so i'll do the same thing here anywhere in this column i'll just click format column width 
I enter 14.14 click on OK so that I'll have the same column width as this one I'll also increase the width of the date maybe to this match I want to get the same size for this so I just select it format so this one I'll just make it 10.7 oops let me do it again 10.7 I'll do the same thing here 10.7 perfect similarly for details I'll do the same thing maybe I want to open it to this level now I want to add borders to my work so that you see a visual design of all what we are trying to do so I start from here then I highlight up to whichever rules I want for this demonstration I want to stop it at row 20 take note you can use whatever number of rows you want i'll even show you how you can add rows when you exhaust the particular rows you have upon highlighting i'll just right click on it then i go over to former cells i go over to border tab i select outline and then inside take note you can also change the line style if you want so for outline i'm going to use this one then I go back and select the outline again. You see that the outline is now thicker than the inside. I click on OK. Now you see a visual design of our table. I'm going to go ahead and center the whole of this. I'll just highlight it. Then I click on center. Next, let's start entering our values. To enter values for a system like this, you need to make sure that under amount, you format the cells to accept currency. What do I mean by this? If I click anywhere in here, then I enter 500.00 which is in the form of money if I press enter the point zero zero will go off meanwhile we need it to be there so we need to format the cell here to accept currency so that even if we type just 400 and press enter the point zero zero will come by default so let's do that I highlight from here up to the end then I go over to number the small arrow here and the number group Take note here, you can use either currency or accounting. Before I do that, let me exit here. Then I enter zero here. I just want to show you something. So I highlight again. Then I click on the small arrow here. Now if I choose currency, you can decide to use the symbol if you want. For instance, mine is set to Ghana cities. I'll just leave it and show you how it works. Then I go ahead and click on OK. You see everything right here. Take notice of the amount here it is set to zero meanwhile we don't need the whole of this zero to be there so this is where accounting will come in so i highlight everything again and i click on the small arrow and i choose accounting i go ahead and click on ok with accounting if you enter zero the space in there will be dash instead of the actual zero figure let's see how we can take the currency sign off if we don't need it so I just highlight again, go over to the number group and the symbol, I drop down the arrow, then I choose none, click on OK and it's gone. And I think this is cool. You can decide to enter the currency here to tell people the currency you are dealing with. So I will just edit it in the formula bar, space, open brackets, I enter Ghana cities. Then I go ahead and close the brackets, hit enter. I'll just copy and paste. Copy, paste. Perfect. So, similarly, I will do the same thing here. This arrow, accounting, I don't need the symbol. Then I click on OK. Now, take note the final cells here. I want to have the totals for these amounts there. So, what I can do is I just click inside here. Then I'm going to enter a summation formula. To do that, I first of all enter equal sign to tell Excel that I'm looking for an answer to some particular figures or cells. After entering the equal sign, I enter sum, open brackets, then I click on the very first cell where I want to include in my addition. So I click in here, then I enter colon, then I go ahead and click on the very last cell where I want to include in the calculation. So I click in here and you see that it has highlighted from the very first cell to the last. I close the brackets. 
then I go ahead and hit enter and I'll have the total right there similarly I do the same thing here so I click in here equal sign sum open brackets I click on the very first cell under amount colon and I click on the last cell and the amount before the total close brackets hit enter take note here will be zero simple because we don't have any values in here before I move forward I want to make the whole of the cells zero zero so that we know that there's some figures there even though it's going to be dash now let's further format our work to make it more intuitive so the title here I'll just select it and I'm going to make it bold I increase the size to 18 or maybe 20 i select this make it bold increase the size to 14 i highlight the whole of this then i make it bold cash on hand is also going to be bold next i'll highlight from here up to amount then i'm going to change the background color so i go over to fill color and i'm going to go ahead and use this dark green everything is still highlighted the text i'll change it to white awesome I do the same thing for the totals row just select it the color is going to be dark green and the text is going to be white what I can also do is highlight this merge it then I go ahead and enter total I do the same thing here merge total I can make everything here bold then I increase the size to 14. Next, I highlight everything in the middle, that is the white area. Then I go over to shape fill and I'm going to choose the lighter green color here. I'll apply the same color for the cash on hand. I just select it and I click in here i will make it bold as well as 14 so that it will be the same as the total and it should also be in money form so i'm going to format it to accept currency take note accounting i don't need the symbol i'll just go ahead and choose none then i click on ok so now how can we get the cash on hand figure to appear here the cash on hand is going to be the difference between the debit and the credit so what I do is first of all enter equal sign then I click on the total amount under debit to insert the name of the cell minus I click on the total amount under credit then I go ahead and press enter so anytime we have some figures here it will have the effect right here the font is set to white I'll go ahead and make it black so that it will appear well and now we are done designing the template next let's begin to enter data into it so the first thing i do is enter date i have first march 2024 hit enter and the details here is going to be balance carry forward so this balance is coming from the previous month and it's going to be 20,000. hit enter you see that as soon as i enter and hit enter the total will appear here as well as cash on hand so this means that this is the total amount we have in the business so maybe on the 5th of march 24 we have this transaction which is this is from web design services and the amount is going to be 2500 take note the moment i hit enter this 2500 will be added to the 20,000 right here as well as what we have in here as cash on hand so hit enter you see the balance next on the 10th of march 2024 something like this and it's going to be 600 perfect you see the calculation has run through now let's come over to the credit side so that we record some expenses we have incurred in the business on the 3rd of march 2024 there was an expenditure internet internet bundle or something and the amount is 200 take note the moment i hit enter the total will be recorded here 
and it will be deducted from the cash on hand we have right here i hit enter i have the total here and now instead of 23,100, and i have 22,900. on save march 2024 there was an expenditure of utility bill which was 400 ghana cities hit enter and you see the totals running through so now remember i said i'll be showing you how you can add rows when you exhaust some of the rows so let's assume i have some figures here maybe 500 hit enter and then 100 hit enter then i need more rows to be included so how do i treat this so what i do is right click on the last row where i have the totals in my case it is row 20 i'll just right click on it then i click on insert and a new row will be added right here and take note you can add as many rows as you want after designing your templates as you can see awesome so now if i come in here and enter let's say 400 hit enter you see that the calculation has run through on the total here as well as cash on hand one thing you might have noticed is that on our formatting the formatting we had here has affected what we are having here if you can see you see that the border has not affected the line here even though you can still enter your date here for instance 17 march 2024 and it will fit very well and you can also enter some details here so let me quickly show you how you can add the border when you happen to miss it like this so i'll just highlight this take note the border is coming at the left side of the highlighting i'll just right click on it Format cells i go to border then you choose this side click on ok if i click aside you see the line there now so similarly i do the same thing here if you want to save your work as a template so that you'll be able to use it over and over again i have a video link in the description that will show you how you can save your excel file as a template so that you'll be able to use it over and over again without having to mess with the original design now if you want to create an income and expenditure template for your business make sure you stick around to watch this video on your screen right now keep watching and i will see you there